In a dozen rivers that flow through Missouri's Ozark Mountains, an ancient creature lurks under big flat rocks, waiting to snatch whatever passes by. As long as your arm, and weighing up to two pounds, the hellbender is the largest salamander in North America. These biologists are hunting them. I'll never forget the first hellbender I ever captured in my life. When I picked it up, here's this massive animal about this size, all this wrinkled skin on its side. And when I looked at its face, all I saw was these two little beady eyes. Those eyes just doesn't seem to match the body. Hellbenders breathe through flaps in their skin. They spend their entire life in the water, near cool, clear springs. And Missouri has plenty of those. But hellbenders are disappearing in the Ozarks, and scientists want to find out why. We're not sure if there's problems with the adults, or maybe it's the juvenile class. We do not find very many small hellbenders in this state, in Missouri, in the river at all. The chances of finding a hellbender this big are very rare. Does that mean that they're laying their eggs and these youngs are not being part of the recruitment classes for the future? Or is there a problem with the adults where they're not even laying eggs? In 30 years, hellbenders in Missouri have dropped from 15,000 to little more than 1,000 individuals. A prime suspect is a fungus that is killing amphibians everywhere. Biologists survey hellbenders in the wild every summer. After an hour scouring this river bottom, they finally catch one. They check for an implanted chip, weigh it, take skin scrapings, and inspect for deformities before returning it to the water. Salamanders absorb water to get oxygen, but they also take in heavy metals, hormones like estrogen, chemical pollutants, and endocrine disruptors, any of which, or a combination of things, could be the problem. No one knows yet. But in the meantime, we have to raise this animal or we're not gonna have enough to determine why they're declining. And researchers at the St. Louis Zoo are doing just that. They have 80 juvenile hellbenders, all from a single clutch of fertilized eggs found in the wild. What we're trying to do here is create a captive reproduction center, a captive propagation center. We would like to raise these animals. We like to breed them in captivity. They've never been bred in captivity yet. We like to be the first ones to do that. These rare animals are safe for now, but not yet saved. We serve as an ark, as a refuge, as a, as a place where they're, they finally find safety and sanctuary, and for many species, this is their last reserve. It might not come to that for Missouri's hellbenders. Next summer, biologists plan to release 40 of them back into the wild. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.